Hey, good morning everybody. I figured after that, you know, embarrassment nightmare that was Batman uh, 22, which I still believe is an abomination of a Batman movie, I figured I'd go back in time and review, you know, a Batman movie that I thought was fun and, you know, had a good combination of, you know, humor and greediness. And that particular one, I will choose from is Batman Returns which I can't believe is celebrating its 30th anniversary this year I mean it came out in June of 1992 and I remember I think I was like nearly five at the time uh, when it came out and of course you know Michael Keaton returns you know as you know Bruce Wayne aka Batman and this time around he faces off against you know the Penguin aka Coswell Cobblepot, played by uh, Danny DeVito, and of course um, Michelle Pfeiffer, you know, as Selena Kyle, aka the Catwoman, who I still believe to this day, even 30 years later, has been, has been the best uh, cinematic version of Catwoman, which nobody else has been able to top since then. And then, of course, you have Christopher Walken playing uh, the villainous um, Max Shrek. You know who has you know who sinister plans for you know a toxic uh, plant in Gotham uh, City, and of course you know when um, Selena Kyle uncovers Max sinister plants, he nearly has her killed, and of course that causes uh, Selena to kind of have like a nervous you know breakdown, and you know you know you know become the Catwoman you know wanting re revenge against her former boss. And then, of course, you know, in the case of Penguin, you know, he tries to figure out, you know, his backstory and where he came from, you know, considering that in the beginning of the movie, he was abandoned in the sewers because his parents were afraid of him. And unlike, you know, the disastrous Batman 22 movie, in the case of Batman Returns, I mean, at least it had characters that you cared about, that had character arcs that you kind of sympathize and empathize with them as well and you kind of relate to the characters because it's almost like Oswald's character is kind of like the, the, you know the person that society in a sense forgot about and uh, Selena Kyle's character is kind of like the person that you know gonna you know you know reached her breaking point you know just said the hell with it I, I guess if that makes sense and Bruce Wayne's kind of like the parallel like um, like he lives like among the shadows and you know the Bruce Wayne's kind of like his his mass persona, I guess. While the Batman is his true character, I guess if that makes sense. And I would say one of the highlights of Batman Returns, you know, even though at the time, you know, I guess parents complained that they thought it was too dark, which I don't think it was. I mean, it's kind of, I guess by today's standards, a little tame. But you know, it was one thing that was, I would say, good about the Tim Burton Batman movies. That was for its like dark, uh, you know, humor, which I thought was uh, pretty cool. And, um, you know, seeing the costume, you know, and the sets, it was, you know, really rather impressive. And like I said, one thing I liked about Batman Returns, it like, like it had, how it has a decent balance between, you know, the darkness and, and the humorous moments, which of course, you know, when Joel Schumacher took over it went, in the opposite direction became more flashy and you know a little bit more on the campy side you know to sell you know to cater, to cater to the parents which is unfortunate I mean a movie should be judged based just on artistic craft and merit you know not just caring to one group of individuals but that's just my opinion so in terms of what I think about Batman Returns 30 years later it still holds up pretty well it's very you know, good, good story. I mean, you know, the the slow burn romance between Bruce and Selena. Will they? Will they not? And you know, of course, the infamous scene when they accidentally uncover their um, you know, identities, which was pretty cool to see. So, I'll definitely say it's still one of my favorite uh, Batman movies. And I guess others probably feel the same way. Uh, feel free to sh comment on what you feel your favorite Batman movie was, or whether or not fans, I guess, loved or hated this 22 version of Batman, which I didn't like, but, you know, teach their own. So that's it. 
Alright everyone, thanks again and feel free to subscribe to my channel and I'll be back soon with more reviews. Thanks.